Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Code to Care video series where we talk about uh, AI and data and all that good stuff. Uh, I am joined by my special guest, Jay Nakashima. Jay is president of eHealth Exchange, one of our nation's national uh, networks. And we partner with Jay. We provide the technology that Jay uh, uses. And uh, Jay's organization has done a lot of amazing things to help interoperability. And we're going to talk about them in this uh in this video. So maybe I'll start with you, Jay. Like what problem did you did you solve or did you sort of dedicate the last few years of your career? To? All right. Yes. Yeah. So, well, thanks for having me. Yeah. So um, eHealth Exchange noticed a, a number of years ago that providers needed to cr create technical connections and trust connections with really, you know, with uh, 6,000 hospitals across the U.S. and a countless number of doc offices, laboratories, and pharmacies. And of course, scaling that, asking them to create those technical connections was a tall order. Mm -hmm. So providers want to connect with each other, Yep, exchange clinical data, um, and 6,000 of these, many tens of thousands of clinics, labs, blah, blah, blah. A point-to-point -point model is tough yeah. or impossible. Yeah, uh, not practical. Not practical, not practical. Okay, so what did you do? Yeah, so eHealth Exchange implemented uh, InterSystems uh, tech platform uh, to create via a hub and spoke model. So what we did was we we created this centralized tech platform, and we asked a sample provider, let's say a hospital here, hey, create one connection to eHealth Exchange, and then we will connect you to thousands of other trusted healthcare providers across the country. Okay. And the way it works is that this provider is seeing this patient. I'm going to draw the patient there. Okay. Um, and they ask you, do you know anything about Don Woodlock, let's say. Uh, and then you go out and talk to the rest of these groups, bring back a record for this provider. Yeah. That's basically the way it works. Exactly. This pull model. Okay, fantastic. And is it used? Does anybody use them? Yeah, it's used. So we have about 25, 000, a billion, 25 billion transactions moving through this tech platform every year. And the number really seems to grow by the month. Um, so I wouldn't call it the, I wouldn't call this issue solved, but I would say we've made tremendous progress um, over the years. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say 25 billion. That's an amazing number. Yeah. So, so when you look back, so what do you think is behind us? Um, and then what, let's talk about what's ahead of us in terms of to-do items. Yeah. So I think we've done a great job, not quite solved, but pretty darn close for provider to provider trust. Okay. So providers now trust, um, that when they exchange data among each other, that it's going to be used responsibly. Mm -hmm. What we haven't done a great job of yet, but we've started making inroads, roads is getting, uh, data exchanged at scale for non-provider to provider use. Okay. So think about um, data that um, an insurance company might okay. need. Yeah. Or even public health. We've done a good job, not a great job, of getting public health the data they need. And we could discuss that during another segment if you're interested. Of course. Yes. Of course. Okay. So payers, you would say, uh, they're really not part of this picture yet. Yeah. Um, and there's trust issues and all that uh, good stuff to work through. But obviously, data and workflows exchange between providers and payers. So they should be part of it in, in, in some fashion. Yeah, well right? done. Uh, public health. This would be an amazing public health solution in terms of surveillance and adverse events and things like, uh, things like that. And I know we're at the beginning of that journey. And, uh, and you have a really good project we'll talk about in the next video on that on that uh, on that front yes okay um and then i guess just other non-treatment use cases like i can think of research yeah and we've started there with nih which we could discuss separately oh, very good yes. yes very good excellent excellent now so a lot a lot to i mean a lot's behind us yes you know interoperability the last 10 years has gone way ahead like doctors can see basically information from outside their organization when they're treating a patient now reliably but there's a lot a lot to a lot to do over the next decade yeah would you say yeah yeah the, the good news is we have the the architecture we have the patterns mm -hmm. 
and we have the trust agreements to yep. make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. All right, good. Hope that was uh, interesting, and uh, we'll be back for a little bit more in my next video. Thanks.